<laughs> it's recording. <laughs> channel it is April a new month which means I'm going to be doing a favorites video this will be my March favorites video and I'm so excited by the amount of crap I've got to show you you look so, so good so <laughs> Alright, so starting off with skincare, as you guys know, I work at Mecca so I get to experience a lot of the products and this I've only been using for the past week, but I actually really, really love it. It's Bare Minerals Pure Plush Gentle Deep Cleansing Foam. And I just love how this feels on the skin. So I will take my makeup off with like a micellar water and cotton pads, and then I will grab this and mix it with water and then wash everything else off. And I just feel like it's super cleaning for the skin. Love that. Next is the Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Marine Hydration Booster. Hyaluronic acid is an acid that holds 1,000 times its weight in water. So when you apply it to the skin, it maintains the water and moisture within your skin. So if you have dry skin like I've been experiencing, this is the most amazing little booster for your skin. You can use the pipette and pop it in your moisturizer or whatever, but it's so, so, so good. Next is my favorite moisturizer of the month. I have been trying the Tatcha the Indigo Cream. Um, it has Japanese indigo extract in it, which makes it so lovely. It's a very thick cream as well, so I use it at night time. I've nearly finished it. And it comes with a little spoon, which Jordan always says is super luxe. <laughs> and it is. It also has the Hadassai 3, which Tatcha has in all of their products, which is anti-aging. So it's green tea, rice, and algae. And that is supposed to be the Japanese secret for beautiful, clear, and anti-aged skin. Next is my Hourglass, um, what is this called? Just the Hourglass Lip Oil. It doesn't have the little like applicator, <laughs> but it's an oil that smells like hue and pine. And I've been using it every night. Wow. Next we're going on to our makeup category. So all the makeup that I have been loving, especially this month. Obviously I'm obsessed with all makeup, lol. And I use a lot, but these are the ones that stood out to me this month. So first of all is the Veil Primer from Hourglass. When you apply it to the skin, I'm going to show you because it's so lit. When you apply it to the skin, it almost turns like a blue color. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But it turns kind of blue and just like, or purple kind of. And then just becomes the most silky, creamy thing ever. I didn't understand the hype about this primer until I started using it. But it's got SPF 15 and it's just super silky and makes your makeup stay on all day. This foundation has been my absolute favorite this month. I'm pretty sure it launched in March. So perfect. It is the Vanish Liquid Foundation from Hourglass. So they've got their stick foundation and this is the liquid one that they brought out this month. And I have been trialing it all month and the amount of compliments I have received over this foundation has been incredible. I love it. It is so full coverage and normally I don't really like wearing full coverage, but it still looks almost somewhat natural. Like it doesn't look cakey. So this has been amazing. I'm really out of my little sample and I'm going to buy the full bottle because it's incred. But I'll put a picture in now of a photo shoot that I did. Actually, Jordan took the photo of oh. my face with it on. Concealer. This is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. This is now my all-time favorite. I've been using it like for a year and just have nothing else to say about it other than that it's fab. Another Hourglass product! Love that for us. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. And this is my setting powder. So it looks like this. It has just been really nice because it's got a slight pink undertone. And some of those Hourglass foundations are quite yellow. So it kind of balances it out. And it also gives you the illusion of airbrushed skin, especially in photos. Favorite blush of this month has been Gina by NARS. This is just a little tester. It's just a really natural um, peach color. I've got on today as well. For eyebrows this month, I've only been using this the last week, but I really like it. And the lid is on the wrong side. It is the Brow Beater from Urban Decay. And I have it in today so that you can see, but it's just very precise. Next is highlighter. This is a stiller one. These are so popular. I think this was released February or March, but I've only been using it this month. And I wore it to work yesterday and honestly, like, every time I looked in the mirror, I was like, girl, you look so you good. You look so good yesterday. De I know. Thank you. <laughs> but it's such a pretty packaging as well. It's kind of like their summer collection. It's their 2D fruity range. And it smells like flipping, what does it smell like? Fruit. Like Fruit. berries. Like berries. Yeah. Literally. 
It's very berry based, so they're all like quite pink colours. I haven't used the dark purples yet, but very pretty. This is Too Faced as well. It's better than Sex Mascara. I've loved this for years. It's the first purchase that I ever made from Mecca years ago, and I still love it. I have it on now. Like, my <laughs> eyes, people always comment on my eyes. They're like, do you have eyelash extensions? And I'm like, no. It's better than sex and lips, which is my favorite part of makeup. This has been bomb this month. Makeup Cosmetica in natural. It's their lip balm, but it gives you a slight tint. It's super, super pretty. Too Faced, um, what... What collection is this? Too Faced, their like peach collection. And this, I have been wearing this for like this whole month to work. It's like the perfect nude color ever. It's like a, like a beigey nude and it just looks really good on my skin tone. And I get so many comments and I've sold this to people. And last for makeup is my final like favorite lip product. This is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments. And this is like a mini version, but Alex, I was wearing this in front of Alex the other day and she was like, oh my gosh, I love that on you because it literally looks so good and they stay on all day. It's another nude kind of color, which is my favorite to wear. Hair, I've only got one for this month um, and that is the KMS Hair Play Texture Spray. And I've just been wearing this look a lot. Cause it's just like you just add a little bit and just add something to your hair. Again, Alex has been using this because we'll carpool together to work and she'll be like, what can I put in my hair? And I'll be like, put this in it. So. And final kind of beauty product for this month is the YSL Black Opium Perfume. Every time Jordan has smelled this on me, she's been like, what are you wearing? Because it's the <laughs> best smell ever, isn't it? Especially yes. for me. Yeah. I feel like it's so sexy and like. It is. Look, yeah. I've been wearing this the since December and it's completely empty so I need to get some more but like this month has been the last time I've been able to spray it example <laughs> it's not, like not a like in your face yeah but also like a really mature perfume yeah like not an old mum yet but it's but not like a not a teenager either yes, yeah that's why I love it this is just miscellaneous now so we've got a few like fun random but this is breakup boss by Zoe Foster Blake as you know I've been through like the worst breakup of my life um, in November and I've been reading this my my cousin Nicole gave this to me she came into work and gave it to me and I cried like it was so sweet of her and I've been reading it and it's just so down to earth so funny she swears a lot in it like it's super relatable it's just been super helpful and like my favorite book of the moment and I'm nearly done so I'll let you know on Instagram when I think about it sorry for the dogs barking I can't really do a lot about it Unless I wanted to like hit them around the butt with this book, but I like it too much. Listen to this. I hope, like she says, to, I hope I can help you. It could be a heartbreak coach, and she's like, at the very least, encourage you not to text your ex just because it's Sunday and you're all sad and cute and pathetic and wearing a hoodie. <laughs> you so need that. <laughs> On to my favorite apps of the month. Yay! Favorite apps have been Airbrush. Alex told me about this, and I'm fully shook. Like I can literally look like Kim K with this app. Like. <laughs> No wonder they always look perfect. So yeah. if you think I look perfect all the time, it's because of airbrush. Instagram, obviously, I will put my little like handle here. Snapchat, I've been snapping some absolute assholes recently. <laughs> bye, boy. <laughs> boy, bye. Literally, the person I've been snapping is still watching all of my Snapchat stories. So I know you want it. Canva has been what I've been using for my thumbnails and stuff for YouTube. These are my favorite songs of the month and I change my favorite music all the time. My proper favorite is Tropical House music, like that's just all time favorite. But I go through stages of like loving certain music. So this is the five songs that I've been loving this month, okay? And John probably knows because she's heard them a million times. <laughs> high school like that's how yeah. it is next song easy shave thank you for this song because i've been flipping loving it it is pathetic by nina jirachi let me play it for y'all this is the best line for the person on snapchat that i'm talking about ready wait touch me wait a light do you kiss all your friends or am i on another level you keep me in the dark i have to Did you hit it until 
song at the moment because just don't call me <laughs> like I'm moving on I'm a single woman I'm getting my crap done like this is just being such a, a strong song don't call me up when you're looking at my photos can you don't call me up Okay, so that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. They are all of my favorite things from March. I cannot believe it's April already. I literally leave for Melbourne in 11 days. 11 days! I'm so excited and obviously all of those vlogs of me moving to Melbourne will be coming. But that is all of my favorites. Welcome to April. I hope you all have the most amazing month this month. And please don't forget to subscribe down below, like the video, and always follow my Instagram. Don't call me up, I'm going